And then we have another one of these blues licks. So it's the 9, 10, 9, 7, 7. Again, I'm going to go faster through these things after we've seen them a lot. Pull off 10 to 7 to 9 again. Then to the 9, pull off the 7. 9 on the 4th, four, back to the 7. Now here's where it gets a little bit different. Two pull offs at 9 and 7 on the 4th string. Then 9 on the 5th, back to 7. And then we end it the same way we did. All right, and then after that, we get into this. So we're going to basically, so it's just nine, seven, and then play, play, hit that nine three times, kind of muted. Then it's seven, seven, seven again, and then then and now we're just playing seven by itself on the fours. Come back, just hammered seven nine seven nine. And then we're gonna do a quick little pull off. Seven to nine. Now we're gonna kind of start the phrase. It's so that's just basically pull off nine to seven. And that's the only one that's really, except for the last one that's on the third string. You basically do the 9 7 again, pull off on the fourth, and pick that 7 after it, and then do that pull off again, back to the 7s. Then so it kind of rotates between them. And the last one, you do the pull off on the third string. So you'll be able to hear all that stuff if you just kind of follow along with the recording. And then we have, that's just kind of music playing those seven, preparing to take the solo up high now. And then we're going to do a, a slide from uh, nine, uh, 17 to 19. Then put your first finger at the 19th fret, and then 21 with the third finger. Half step in. And kind of pick that a few times there. Then we kind of go into the... Kind of slide into 17 with your third finger on the second string. Pick it a few times. And the whole stat then, 17th fret. And that is just release, pull off to six, 15, 16 on the third string. Back to that 17 on the, the uh, uh, second string. And then, and now it's just a Quarter step bend of the 15, 17 again, bend and release again. Pull off to 15. All right, so we have this. And that little lick right there is a little rake on just dead string. To the 14 on the third string, 16. Come over to the 16 on the fourth and slide it down to 14. And then 12th fret, little little uh, quarter bend. And then 14 on the fifth string. And then we have this back to the 16th fret on the uh, third string. And he can, has a little uh, vibrato bar on it. And then he does. And that is just 15th fret on the second string, little quarter tone bend to 12. Then come over to the 12 on the first string, little couple of quarter tone bends on that. Quarter tone again bend on the 15th. 
kind of very staccato feel it. 12 on the first, and then 12 on the second. Then we're gonna do, now this is where the fade out, it starts really coming into play, so you're not gonna hear much of this after this, but it's just step and a half bend of the 12th fret, and then you just kind of descend down. So from right there, you're gonna be fading out, but it's just, you pick 10, a 12, 10, nine, slide down to um, 11, sorry, slide down to nine, and then pull off to nine, and then just kind of go nine, seven, and just kind of mess around with that, with that scale. It's kind of spades out so much there, it's kind of hard to hear anything, so. Um, and that's about it. That's the entire outro solo, and, for, and that finishes the song for us here. So uh, get this stuff down, tab it out, and, um, and start playing along with the performance video. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.